Hello and welcome to Nosotros, the podcast about all things San Antonio, all things cultura, and all things politics. My guest is Natalie Jones Gomez, the first openly gay woman to reign as a fiesta queen and will also wave at crowds gathered for the 2023 Pride Bigger Than Texas Parade at the end of June. Gomez, yes, she's the daughter of Joe Gomez Fights, is 35, a wife, a mother, and businesswoman. This August, she'll also begin law school at St. Mary's, her alma mater. But for now, she's the reigning Reina Linda 2023 for the Rey Feo organization, and it's already been a historic reign. Okay, welcome, Natalie. Thank you it's for so having good to me. See you. I'm so excited to be here. Well, I'm I'm so grateful that you came on. I think people will enjoy getting to know you. And the first question I have is about your family, your beginnings. What you want to tell us about um, these parents of yours, this family of yours? Yes, and then your own family. Absolutely. So I have incredible parents, Joe and Carmen Gomez. And uh, one thing that they've always shown is true, unconditional love. Um, so, And they have been there from in my basketball days when I played uh, CYO, cheering me on in the stands up till now uh, as La Reina Linda. So I'm and very thankful to I'll have to, to have interject them. that you're also a, um, an award-winning, oh, I love that picture, <laughs> uh, the award, award-winning award basketball uh, player on the St. Mary's Rattlers. Tell us yes, about that. Yes, I was inducted to the Hall of Fame uh, class of 2020, which was a true honor. And we had some incredible players that came before and um, Um, They have new leadership there, a new coach. I'm really excited about all the things they'll do there in the women's program. Um, But um, my parents just have always been there, always been there for me. And um, I think it's important to mention that although they've always loved me and always supported me, it's not always been easy, Um, especially in our culture. um, Things are usually traditionally one way. Um, And so to to veer off from that, I know probably was very challenging for them. And we, we had conversations and lots of tears shed. Uh, but I am just so proud of my parents for their evolution. And you would have never known now uh, or then that they might have struggled at some point in time. They've been very supportive. They um, were there uh, at our wedding and supported us. We wouldn't have been able to have the wedding that we did without them. And they watch our children. Um, we just have a very, very close relationship. But um, for some people, it was easy all along, but it wasn't for my parents. And I think that's important to note because um, it's just growth. It's growth and it's support and just loving your family through the experience of coming out. That's so beautiful to hear, especially on Pride Month and mm-hmm. when we are both celebrating and reconciling all those things yet to happen, Mm -hmm. either politically, legislatively, and the difficulty that other LGBTQ uh, Americans have in this country. And um, what do you think that your reign means for all that? I mean, I know it's fiesta and I know it's fake royalty, but there is a significance here in having someone like you reign as a queen. And by the way, you are the most beautiful queen. Oh, thank you. I had a lot of fun playing dress up every day. Um, but if you ask any of us, it's we're not faking. This is real. We are true royalty. <laughs> um, but, you know, I, and that's how I feel that you feel. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so afterwards in, in October, I don't know that I'll really want to give up my crown, although I'll be giving up to an incredible Reina Linda 10, Stephanie Garcia. Um, but um, it has been a true experience, um, a one that I, f- I felt very supported and um, embraced by the organization, by the Ray Feo organization. And for a lot of the Ray Feo, um, e- even down to the family members, that the children, the parents, um, maybe I'm the first of, of my kind that they've seen, but I think they've learned a lot through my reign. Um, and that at the end of the day, it's all about love and just supporting each other. But um, it's been quite, quite, quite a run, and I've, I've really enjoyed myself. Well, as I've said to others, you're not the first. You're just the first that's openly right. gay. Um, I, My heart tells me that there were others that um, wanted to be Fiesta Queen or Fiesta King as much as you did because mm-hmm. they love this tradition in San Antonio. And, God, um, I am just as guilty. I spent 
tons of money <laughs> and tons of time going out to those events. I love them in spite of the origins that are troubling. But um, I wonder what you think the reaction was to you mm-hmm. or what you saw as the reaction to your yeah. to you being a fiesta queen right. and being out and embracing the colors and embracing your wife um, who always was there uh, yes. by you in that beautiful Rafael outfit by the way she looked great as oh, well oh thank you we we joked around that her style was you know upstaging mine at times <laughs> yes um, and that hair fantastic yes, yes. So we we had a great time together but you know, I think at the end of the day, um, I just, from the very beginning, I just wanted to be truly who I am and live my authentic life. Um, because once you come out, you don't want to go back in and not even in a position like this. So um, I, I approached, when I was approached for this position, I just had very honest conversa- conversations that I was just going to be myself. And I was very supported. Um, and it was almost, and I mentioned this to you the other day, it was almost like it was a non-issue, which I, I think the movement is headed that way in some ways. Um, great. Tell me what else. Tell me what else about <laughs> yourself. You know, so it's just a part of who I am. Um, it's not uh, who I am completely. There's a lot more to me. Um, but certainly having that support and knowing that it was a possibility and that I didn't have to um, shift who you know I am I, my positioning I just was Natalie and I happen to have a wife and beautiful children um, who are along for the ride that's wonderful and um, we didn't get to see your children doing fiesta because they were being cared for by grandparents yes um, but uh, tell us a little about them and how old they are and um, and what it's like to be a mom of of two young children Yes, especially in, in the position of uh, royalty, fiesta royalty, it's um, not always easy because I'm either wearing the crown as la reina or I'm wearing the mom hat. And sometimes it was difficult to do, uh, to wear both of them at the same time. Um, but my children, Lux, he is going to be five next month. Nix is going to be three. And they loved it. They love the colors. They love the candy and um, <laughs> the, the being with the family. They really enjoy mm-hmm. that. In fact, they were in a parade. We we started off in the King William Parade as the Ray Fayo Group and organization. And before you knew it, somehow that my children joined in, in a parade <laughs> and my in-laws. And we were laughing that my father-in-law was just waving to the crowd at some point because they had joined in. Um, so it was great. It was such an experience and one that I'll remember for a lifetime. And at least hopefully they remember some. If not, we'll show them pictures and videos. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> you also talk with me um, Uh, for a column last week about um, your business and Mm -hmm. your um, your plans to go back to law school so talk a little bit about that transition what you've been doing and what you hope to be doing yes well the the ideas come to mind um, over the years and you know I know my parents if they had it their way I I would already be an attorney Um, but you know as as oh they wanted you to go to law school a long time ago oh yes yes oh and you know I just think um, it just this is the perfect time this is a perfect opportunity uh, for me to to continue the legacy and so I know they're very excited and I am filled with emotions nervous um, excited excitement all, all all the things but I'm very much looking forward to that. I'll, I'll begin at St. Mary's University in August. Um, and one thing about the Ray Fayo organization is that we also visit schools. Some folks don't know that a big part of what we do is visit schools, elementary, middle schools, and we share the importance of staying in school. And this year it was about mindfulness, breathing, when you get frustrated, which I think as adults we could probably <laughs> do that as well. Um, we talked about believing in ourselves, high-fiving yourself in the mirror in the morning and saying, Natalie, I can do it. Um, and then also um, my spiel was about kindness and being kind to each other despite our differences. And I, I think really during this Pride Month, um, it's, so it's relevant. Uh, very much so. So um, because of those messages you you start believing in yourself all over again as an adult and so you know what I can do it so here I am I will begin law school in August and that brings up another um, idea that I wanted to explore with you about those young people that need to hear that message Mm -hmm. um, LGBTQ and not um, straight and otherwise Um, um, Tell us a little bit about your journey in coming out so that young people can hear, especially this Pride Month, um, that that you overcame. 
Right. Absolutely. You know, this was 15 years or so ago, so it was a much different climate, much different. Um, you know, now it, we are more embraced and there's such a thing as Pride Month, but we didn't necessarily have that back then. So it was uh, difficult. And, um, you know, I, I mentioned this the other day that, you know, for many this month, it's about pride. But then we are quickly reminded of what what is the opposite. And that's shame. When we came out, so many of us experienced these feelings of shame. And so talking about it again takes you back to those moments that uh, they feel kind of yucky inside. But but then at the same time, you, you're so thankful for where you've come from and where you are today. So my, my experience was very similar to others. Um, I was approached by my mom. And I always said, if she ever asked me, either my mom or my dad, I'm just going to have to be honest with them. And so I How was. How old were you then? Uh, you know, I was 20, so I was I was older. Well, you were older. I was uh-huh. older, but that doesn't make it any easier. No. Um, and even as a 20 year old, I didn't want to uh, let my parents down. I knew that there was going to be some embarrassment along with that. Um, wanted things to be easy, both for for myself, but also for my parents. You just you always want to make your parents proud. And so uh, we we had our difficult moments um, and we grew together. Um, I mentioned the other day that, you know, my mom had even recommended I go to counseling, um, which I don't I don't knock her for at all. I, I don't blame her for counseling for, is good, everybody. Yes, yes, absolutely. <laughs> but I think her intention was let me send her to counseling and see if we can't sort this out and get her back mm-hmm. on track. Yes. But when I attended that counseling session, the counselor in so many words said, well, it sounds like you know what you, you're, you've got going on and, you, you know, well, next time maybe we should bring in your mom for the counseling <laughs> session. So we, we can laugh about I it now. That. I mean, you know, oh. and my mom, she's just such a good sport about it now. Yes. Um, and we realized that it was not easy, but it brought us to where we are today. And I can honestly say I'm proud of who I am and I know my parents are as well. And there's just no better time than now just to be ourselves. Okay, to wrap things up, though, I have to take you back to those billboards and those uh, buses that has your father's face on it and says, Gomez Law Fights or Joe Gomez Fights. That's right, Joe Gomez Gomez Law Fights. So I can imagine in the future when your dad retires and you take over the law firm, Mm -hmm. and actually your brother is a manager with your mom. He's the the marketing guru behind it all. Um, So 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 someday. Someday, Natalie, uh-huh. right. on those buses and on those billboards could be Natalie Gomez. That's right. So is it going to be Natalie Gomez fights? I think it'll still be Gomez Law fights. Uh, that's <laughs> okay. right. So, And we're visualizing that because that's what we talk about, the Ray Fail organization, uh-huh. visualizing Visualize. the future and putting it out there. So I like I like the way you think there, Elaine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well. Um, It takes three years to finish up law school, and then you'll be studying for the bar exam, and then you'll become a lawyer, and you're going to start working in your dad's law firm, and someday you'll take over it, and we'll watch when that happens. Well, I hope so, and um, hopefully continue to give back to the community as my parents have. It's very important for them, and they've taught us that we are nothing if we don't give back. Especially your mom. I've noticed your mom is on... A lot of, you know, out of the blue, she'll be donating this or Mm -hmm. underwriting that. And um, as much as your dad, but Mm -hmm. um, um, yeah, you were blessed with parents that give back. Yes, uh, very much so. And I'm I'm proud to be their daughter and hopefully continuing to make them proud. Well, good luck with everything. Thanks for coming on Nosotros. Thank you for having me. Viva Fiesta. Viva Todavía. Así es. (laughs) 